So, how are you doing? I'm doing fine. You tell me, how are you? I am as right as rain. Thank you very much. And how was your day? It was okay. Nothing special. Okay. Uh, it was okay. okay. How was yours? It was fine. Actually, actually, my brother had a surgery yesterday. He had a knee surgery oh. yesterday. So most of my day was spent in the hospital. Okay. So is he okay now? Yes, he's okay. Actually, he was playing football and he ruptured his ligament in the knee. So it nice. had to be surgically fixed. Okay. So, yeah, but he's going to be fine with a bit of uh, physiotherapy for a month, I guess. Okay. So surgery has already been done. It's just that, you know, yes, yes. that, yeah, the physiotherapy things are left. Yeah. So I okay. think he'll come home tomorrow. Okay. Good luck. Awesome. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> So any plans for the weekend? It's the weekend. Do you have it, the weekend off? Oh, yes. Uh, we have a long weekend, actually. Um, we have a Monday off as well. So okay. three, day, three days, yeah, long weekend. So I don't have any <laughs> such plans as such, you know, this is just a family thing. I'll have to take my father to the hospital just, you know, uh, for mm -hmm. the routine checkup and everything. So I don't have any special plan as such uh, at mm -hmm. this point in time. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, you know, if you had to make a plan, like, what does your ideal weekend look like? What do you want to do? If you could do something special. Special, I mean, obviously, you know, I would I would plan to travel somewhere, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and then maybe I would I would like to see, the, see you know, watch movies uh, mm -hmm. uh, if I have time, yes. And then, then go to favorite restaurants and enjoy food, all of that. Yeah, that sounds interesting. Food and movies. The, I think everybody loves that. Oh, what is that? I'm sorry. I was saying food and movies. Everybody loves that. So you know that sounds like oh, the yes. Nothing, nothing special is as general as you know people have. Do you have something special? How do you plan your weekend? Just in case you have that. I don't really. I go to the gym every day. So you know, I would oh. say that's the highlight of my day because I love working out. I take sessions. Maybe I read a book or something. That's all. We on some... weekends? Yes. I actually, you know, take some time off the screen on the weekend. You know, I make sure I do something different. Because I feel like I spend like six, seven hours on in front of the laptop every day. What so do you I do? Think... I mean, that, that's, that makes me, you know, ask you a question. Like, what else do you do except clapping over? So, well, I just finished my master's in English. So, I work part-time on clapping over. I take sessions six hours a day almost then i work out three hours a day and i study because uh, actually i got recommended with the air force twice i made it the air force being an mm -hmm. officer but the vacancies are very less okay. so i could not make it in the end like i could not secure a seat so i studied because of exams coming up that's all so all, all that but yeah so all, uh, I mean, uh, Air Force exams itself or, or something else? I, I would just say Air Force. Uh, the thing is, my passion is uh, working out, right? So I'm thinking I might get certified by the end of this year, you know, maybe take up a course. Okay. So I'm also trying uh, to do some content and all of that. So that's about it. What kind of courses are there and, you know, when it comes to fitness and, and everything? Because I do go gym. Earlier I used to go, you know, very often than not. Now, since you know, uh, the due to the busy schedule and everything, you hardly get time to go regularly to gym and all, right? So I used to go there. I, I love you know working out, and yeah, uh, yeah and, and I'm passionate about it. And certainly, I would like to know you know what else you know are certifications available when that comes to. If somebody's talking about certification, then definitely you know that mm -hmm. he or she would be up to that level of uh, you know I would say uh, fitness. Uh, fitness, yeah. yeah. Uh, so that that. In, you know that uh, interest me and then ask you know that, that ask me or in fact i would ask you to to explain what kind of certifications that are available so, yeah, there are many that or loop? yeah so i would say there are many institutes where you know you can get certified and then it depends on you you know there are many arenas like cardio and strength training and all, all of that like personal training so what are you interested in so you study for that you know you give exams so even if you want to go abroad, you can be a trainer there as well. Okay. So I'm more I'm doing it more for the knowledge because I want to learn more about it as much as I can, you know, just gain some knowledge. 
also oh. it's, it's my alumni i don't know much about it i'm just in the process you know finding things out they like, can figure okay. it out you know which like where i have to find admission or you know which institute i should look for and stuff so but but yeah i keep scored like 100 kg so i feel like i am at that level where i can think of you know becoming certified because oh. i know all the forms and you know, all the exercises and the diets okay so who provides certification like is that a global one global certification or yeah. or is a local I mean, somebody local i i would say it's it's global as well so there are many like american organizations as well so you know you can be certified for uh, training in various countries right so but i think you have to renew it after you know every few years because you know, right. it keeps changing the fitness industry correct correct so i'm just trying to save up some money so i can you know use my money to get certified because it's my passion so i want to hustle and do it on my own Does wish you good sense? luck and pursue your passion yes <laughs> i believe you have a short life so if you can do something which you love so there is nothing better than that absolutely i do i'm 100% agree with you yeah because uh, i feel like uh, at one point i was like ashi what makes you happy like what do you want to do and i was like okay i love going to the gym so why not do something in this i know it's not easy but uh, again it's fine i guess i can do it i will do it cool and i can see a lot of paintings you know at the background i know a lot of you know uh, speakers or perhaps learners might have asked you this question so yes. that perhaps uh, yeah mm. i just want to know what, what are those paintings are I you doing it yourself free time it's my hobby so i painted this abstract drawing so with like oh. a paint brush and i also a big fan of game of thrones i have a banner in the background i've read all the books i haven't <laughs> okay. watched it though i read all the books Argarian. and then i have some more photographs here which i printed and pasted i feel like your space should inspire you like your surroundings and you know it should show your personality exactly Right. So, so Targaryen is a, probably one of the characters in Game of Thrones, right? Yes, is yes. It, it, I would say it's right. a house, like a. Targaryen was house. Okay, okay. I I watched the episodes, um, so okay. yeah, I know a little bit about it. Since you've already, you know, gone through all your, you mentioned you you gone through all your book, all those yeah. those books, right? And I'm I sure that you must have. I uh, in front of me, you know, I bought a whole book set, so I keep it on my table, so I can look at it every day. <laughs> How about episodes? You you must have watched all all the episodes. I haven't watched any episodes, and I won't. Why is that? That that because I feel like you know the episodes or the the series will ruin the books for me. Because when you make a series based on books, right? So half of the plot is missed. Hmm. It's not like the actual story. Like they miss all the details. And I think oh. you know when you watch something, it served to you. You can't imagine much. but when you read you know you can visualize okay the place looks like this the ba- the background is this you know the character looks like this well i would say i was much of an introvert growing up i mean i'm not i mean so i made sure i i used to read a lot mm-hmm. so i just read it and i bought them i think you know i'll show them to you right sure. so i think i used to teach english uh, like home tuitions at like mm-hmm. uh, in 2017 or something So when my first salary came, which wasn't much, so I spent it all on the books because <laughs> I wanted to buy them. Okay. So first I bought the books individually, but that was very expensive because one book was like five hundred bucks or six hundred bucks. Mm. So I got the whole book set for like two thousand bucks, which was like you know a dream come true. So how many books are there? Four books, five books? Actually, there are six books. Six uh, books. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean seven books, but you know one book has two parts, so then it becomes seven. But it's six books, so you know I think more books are to be released this year, I guess, but they haven't come out yet. Okay. So I think in the series they've completed the series, like it's done. But in real life, like the real novels, it's not over yet. So how many more books you do you expect I will be coming in the future? I think two to three books, but. You know, it will take a few years because they're huge. See, can you see uh, it? 
Okay. It, looks it, cool. took me, it took me some time to, you know, bring it outside because I had my uh, stuff, like pens and pencils and colors on there. <laughs> looks like you like yourself, you know, confining to a, within the room. You don't, I'm just you know, giving you the impression. It's not that, you know, I'm, I'm judging you, but it seems like you like, uh, you know, within the four walls of room, you wanted to confine yourself and do a lot of, lot many things, very interesting things, uh, you know, <laughs> as compared to the others who used to go out and do whatever they want. Yeah, as I told you, I'm an introvert. So I yeah. like my room is my whole world. It inspires me. I love being in my room. So <laughs> I'd rather, you know, ameliorate it, you know, make it beautiful because I live here all the time. <laughs> so just in case you know you get another you get an opportunity to work with in, you know in, in corporate environment right so yeah. so would you like to be there would you like to join a company and work for for them or you'd like to do something on your own as a freelancer i would say i love to do something on my own okay no so like as i said about the gym thing like i want to be shredded like really muscular i am but, you know, I want to improve more. I want to make some content, you know, maybe start my own business, something like that, you know, inspire people. Cool. Yeah, because, Great. you know, I wake up every day and I'll be happy. Because if you, you know, work nine to five, it's, it gets very stressful, I guess. It is. It is, yes. <laughs> so, you know, if you had to do something, you know, like anything which makes you happy, apart from what you're doing right now, what would you like to do? Oh, I would like to. I also have some of the things which I would like to do, certainly. But I did not pursue it further. You know, I always wanted to paint or draw something, okay. right? I also believe in, in creativity. So, yeah, that is one thing. And then second thing is I would like to, I, I always wanted to play some instruments earlier. So these are, these are some of the things which I would like to do, just in case if I get another opportunity. <laughs> in life but things are since you know if you, you have so many other things to take care of and then you have your your uh, work stuff and everything that does not allow you uh, you know to do so many things which you've always wished to do that but uh, yeah that that's what i believe you know i would like to do certainly and and, and certainly there are so, certain other things which i did not point out at this point in time what i wanted to do is uh, i would certainly like to pursue my career into voiceover because i have uh, you know, heard a lot of things from all my friends, colleagues, and then so many other people, you know, yeah. that you should uh, explore yourself into voiceover, voice acting, all of that, because uh, that's something which suits you and uh, you can do incredible, incredibly well. Um, so that's what I'm looking forward to it. But since I haven't got such bigger projects and I have not, I haven't gone into that deep, you know, I haven't mm -hmm. deep dived into it so far, I would say, it, just that you know, I always wish to do that, but uh, yeah, I haven't explored as as much as I always wish. Yeah, uh, same question to you. You know, what what else do you do? Uh, would like to do in case you. So you know, my father is an air force officer, so it was always you known. I, I won't say dream, but I I always wanted to you know join the air force. So I got selected twice. I was recommended twice, but the vacancies were very less. So you know, I okay. could not make the final cut. I would say. So again, I have exams coming up, more SSBs, more interviews. So, you know, that's an option. I, I was also thinking that, you know, maybe I can, you know, improve my age further, maybe, you know, go abroad and teach, maybe Japan or maybe France, something. So I have a lot of options. So, you know, I'm hustling right now. Okay. So whatever works for me, I'll just go for that. Yeah, it's all about identifying your the strongest point and explore towards it because it's not possible, you know, uh, doing everything simultaneously yeah, because you, sure. it might interest you at certain point in time. Maybe you like this, you like this, you like that. But if you want to pursue your career and want to do something incredible, I think you have to find out your interest and in the, the, the thing I mean, is something which you like most. Yeah, yeah, and then go. I for have it. an interest like the Air Force thing, right? So this time I filled the form. So for the admin department, there are only two vacancies. Okay. <laughs> right. Even if I give the exam, I clear the exam, I go for the interview, yeah. I get recommended, you know, everything is done. I still might not make it. So, you know, I need a plan B, right? 
Right. And I think you know, for Indian parents, going to the gym is not a big deal. Like you know, if you say that you know, I want I to be fit, they won't really understand it, right? So again, you know, you have to keep everybody happy and at peace. So do what they want you to do because I live with them, and do your own thing. Correct. So you know, if you can do something uh, good in what you want to do. and if you can prove them that you know you have that potential that you can do it so i think there is no harm yeah yeah absolutely yeah. agree okay all right so what else can we talk about so how many sessions have you taken on clapping go as of now i think it's been around 25 26 so far okay and yeah. how has your experience been is it fun Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I love talking to people, so yeah. I have spoken to so many other speakers as well. So yeah, it's 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 really fun. Yeah, 